I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today, I'm sitting behind the wheel of one of the most radical cars that we've ever had in MS Classic Cars history. I am proud to present this absolutely stunning 1967 Chevrolet Chevelle Custom, better known as Overlord. To start off this uh, presentation here, this is a non-rehearsed video. There's going to be a lot of information uh, that I do forget to mention during the video. I would please ask that you visit our website at msclassiccars.com for a complete description with tons of highly detailed photos. If you have not or you have been following MS Classic Cars, please note I only collect number one and number two condition vehicles. We've been doing that since inception. We are the only classic car dealer in the country who services every vehicle we sell. We document that work with an invoice. We detail these cars to the highest level and we stand behind them when we sell them. MS Classic Cars truly does it different. So the first thing I wanna note uh, regarding the service on this car, it has been through our service department. We normally at this time during the video present an invoice. We are now uh, doing the invoice and in service. We will list that invoice within our photo gallery. So please make sure to check that out. On the note of the invoice, that is the time I normally show uh, the binder that I make for every single vehicle that we get. Uh, this particular vehicle here has a brand new binder. I've put all of the receipts in methodical order that come with the car. I do that with every car that we sell. The new owner will not only get this binder, but will also get everything else that is included with this car. I even purchased a brand new plastic tote to put everything inside of. Uh, on that note, there is a show board for this vehicle that's included. There's a uh, custom car cover that's included. Uh, there's also a trickle charger for the batteries that's included and a few other miscellaneous items. Um, to kind of get into this uh, presentation here a little bit, um, the first thing I'd like to say regarding the car is it was built um, at the custom shop. It sits on a Roadster chassis. It is one very, very special car. I'm gonna reference these notes because I truly could never memorize all the things there are to talk about about this vehicle. And again, you gotta check it out on our website so you can see all the pictures and read about everything yourself. Um, the first thing I'm gonna say is the vehicle was debuted at SEMA in 2019. A lot of people talk uh, about cars in SEMA. It's one of the greatest car shows on earth. Uh, they held it every year in Las Vegas, uh, Nevada. Uh, if you Google 1967 Chevelle Overlord, the first video that pops up uh, on the Google search is a great video of this vehicle when it was displayed at SEMA in the Sony booth. You got to check out that video. Uh, the owner of the custom shop does a full uh, presentation on the vehicle. There's a lot of cool photos, a lot of cool shoots and so forth. You got to make sure to check that out. The other thing I would like to say is this vehicle was Good Guys 2021 
PPG, that's a paint brand, uh, Street Machine of the Year contender, and it was also a Good Guys Autocross competition participant. So I have this magazine here. Uh, I am a proud member of Good Guys. I've been a member for many years. Uh, coincidentally, this magazine actually did not come with the car. Uh, it was just a short time after I acquired the car that I actually received this magazine in the mail. Of course, I was reading it one night, and lo and behold, we have Good Guys 2021 PPG Street Machine of the Year contenders. And here we have the 1967 Chevelle overlord with some really great competition and as you scroll through this article on the next page you will see the autocross competition and there once again is the 67 chevelle overlord so the proof is in the pudding sema video magazine exposure it's a really really special car and as i said in the beginning of the video it is radical i am gonna go on record and say I think, and again, we've sold almost 700 vehicles at MS Classic Cars. Half of those vehicles have been custom, uh, all different types of years, makes, and models. Um, I'm going to say this is probably the most radical custom car that we've ever owned in MS Classic Cars history. So again, uh, you can see how passionate and excited I am about the car. It is one bad machine, bad meaning good. Uh, so let's get into uh, the first thing here. And again, I'm going to reference this to I definitely don't want to make a mistake here. Command Sergeant Major David Reland, the owner at the time of the build, nicknamed the car in memory of his father, who was part of the D-Day invasion force landing in Normandy, France, 1944. Um, the code name was Operation Overlord. We have snuck uh, some photos in our uh, video here uh, to, to highlight that and so forth. Uh, if you don't know much about that, it's a really big deal. We want to uh, obviously uh, thank not only uh, his father, but David for serving. Um, it is really a car that was uh, nicknamed after something that's part of American history and a really big deal. So that's where the name Overlord uh, came from. This Chevelle is truly one of a kind. Uh, again, I'm going to read off some of the custom features here. We have shaved drip rails. We have cowl hood with billet uh, vents. We have dual sport mirrors. These are super slick mirrors. They are retractable. They have the LED uh, light in the background here. These are really trick mirrors that are put on the car um, with turn signals. We have the front grill with single headlights. You'll notice they changed the headlights from the typical dual headlight that you'd see in a 66, 67 Chevelle. They went to the single headlight, which I thought was really cool as well. Um, it has a, a custom front bumper with lower grill that was added. It's got a chin spoiler. It's got LED light strips and intercooler outlet. Uh, it's got lower rocker panels for removable ground effects. Um, in that note, we decided not to put those on the car. Uh, those are actually uh, these uh, ground effects that attach to the bottom. They will be included uh, with the car, but we do not have them on the car. Um, we thought it looked better without them, so we decided to leave them off um, and so forth. It also has um, lower rear quarter exhaust cutouts in the back that looks absolutely insane rear billet spoilers rear bumper with lower diffuser and roll pan the body was finished in a beautiful pearl white with charcoal accents with a blue pinstripe the work uh, and how they did all that is absolutely spectacular you can see the airbrush style here and again the more that you look at this car the more things that you learn were done to it, and it just goes on and on. Like if you look at this hood as an example, just from sitting inside the car, you have that normal cowl style hood that you'd find on a Chevelle or Camaro, and you can see how they actually did the vents. Not only did they do the vents in the hood, but they did them from the backside so they would work when you close the hood and so forth. They finished them out. It even has the uh, unique style hood pins. Again, I could sit here for probably half of an hour and go over every single thing about this car, but I think if you look at the photos, watch the video, you'll clearly see all the things that you'll pick up on yourself. Um, getting into the glass, uh, the glass is actually all brand new. It's slightly tinted glass. It's obviously crystal clear. Uh, it looks awesome. All the trim is finished in satin black. 
Um, the car has a perfect stance. These are wheels that you typically don't see. A lot of these cars, uh, big names, B-O-Z-E Forged. I'll give a shout out to my friend, Zach. We just ordered a set of wheels from him. Uh, Budnick, uh, I deal with Sheila Budnick. They make great wheels. Not taking anything away from any of those other wheel manufacturers, but this vehicle has core wheels, which are very unique. I think they really are what make this car pop at the end of the day. Uh, there are super wheels, the first car that we've ever had with these wheels on it. Um, you gotta check them out. It has a brush finish with a, a gray center. The wheels are a 19 by eight in the front. They've got two 35, 35, 19 Toyo tires in the front as well. The rear was mini tubbed. For anybody that doesn't understand mini tubbing, they cut a section of the floor and inner fenders out. And what they do is they put in tubs uh, a lot of companies like Detroit Speed uh, sell mini tub kits and then you mini tub the back so it allows you to put a bigger wheel in the back of the car which creates a better stance, better performance, etc. That's been done to this particular vehicle here. The wheels in the back of this car are 19 by 12s, uh, literally a ruler size and width. Absolutely spectacular. Um, they have 315, 25, 20 tires in the back. Again, they're Toyo tires. Uh, they're awesome tires, very sticky. Uh, one comment I'll make, again, about this particular car here, as I get into some of the details, um, our service manager, Michael Marcello, who did a lot of the service work on this particular car, he commented that it's one of the most uh, awesome driving cars uh, that we've had at MS Classic Cars. You would anticipate something this radical, you know, maybe it doesn't drive as good as it looks, but he was overly impressed on how soft and how comfortable and how well this car actually drives. I want to make a note of that. Um, getting into the interior, obviously I'm sitting in this interior. I am speechless. Uh, when I turn the key on, Everything, this whole, this whole entire dash fascia, all the door handles, the seats, the console, it leads into the back seats here. It's a, it's a never ending uh, kind of console here with matching rear bucket seats. If you look even deeper into the back, you get into all the subwoofers. It is definitely the most over top interior that I've ever had at MS Classic Cars. Again, you have to check everything out in our video. So I'm gonna go through some of the features here quickly. Um, the dash, again, it has a floating bar with LED lights, super cool. Um, the knobs are custom, the vents are custom. It has my favorite dash I've ever had in a car. It's a Holley EFI Pro Dash, 12.3 inch digital gauges with changeable uh, gauge display. The gentleman, David, that I bought the car from, I will remember in his garage when I was looking at this car because he lives in Rhode Island. I live in Rhode Island. I had a chance to go to his house and check out the car in person. He was flipping through the gauge cluster showing me all the different configurations for the gauges. Uh, you can do a Porsche, you can do a Ferrari, you can do this setup and that setup. It's so cool uh, how this whole system works. If you don't know much about it, you gotta Google the system and check it out. I'm sure there'll be some cool editorials online that you can see. It is absolutely really cool. Uh, getting into some more features here. We got an I did it tilt steering column. We got a custom Grant uh, GT steering wheel. Again, the full length console with LED lights all the way. We got an M uh, GW shifter. Again, custom door panels and hardware. Uh, New Relics is the brand for the power windows. It's got power windows, got air conditioning. Uh, it's got pro car front seats and rear seats. It's got ACC Dayton weave carpet. Uh, the list goes on and on. As I mentioned earlier at uh, the SEMA deal, this was in the Sony booth. Sony sponsored the car. Um, it does say Sony on the side of the door panels. Some of that stuff is removable if the new owner decides to change it. But this car has an absolutely out of control sound system. Again, the pictures will show you all the speakers and the amplifiers and everything else that's been done. Uh, it's a 4,000 watt Stereo system, again, floating head unit, amplifier, speakers, subwoofers. Uh, the trunk was boxed and upholstered with windows to even display the sound system, which is crazy. Uh, it does have Odyssey batteries that have LED lights back there. I mean, it just goes on and on. Uh, again, I could sit in this interior for the next half hour and I could talk about every single thing that was done to this vehicle, just looking at every vent, every knob, even the pedals. The pedals are black. 
They're custom pedals. They have these black uh, uh, rivets and so forth in them. They look absolutely spectacular. Looking at the door handles, uh, even the trim that's around the shifter here uh, is absolutely awesome how they did it. The way that everything, again, was designed was really cool. And again, this car, uh, again, it fits all of the requirements that people have. Uh, one of my friends and one of my part-time employees, Carl Almeida, we refer to him as Santana. One thing that he's always said to me years ago that it always sticks with me, he says, Mark, when you're buying a custom car, uh, you, you want to find something that actually people can drive, not only drive solo, but drive with their families. And you want all the amenities. This car has everything anybody would want. It's got the gauges, the tilt steering wheel, it's got the air conditioning, it's got the sound system, it's got the power windows, it's got all the LED lights, it's got back seats. People can jump right in the back seats, be comfortable. I'm six foot, 200 pounds. I've got tons of room in this car. It literally checks all the boxes. Let's talk about the engine bay. Uh, this is again, one of the highlights of this car. It doesn't stop. Uh, the engine bay is out of control here. Uh, obviously it's got the LED lights uh, that will display the engine bay when it's at a car show as we just uh, demonstrated in our photos and everything else. The firewall was shaved. The inner fenders were built to clear the pro charger and the wheels. Um, everything, including the custom engine cover, radio support panel, were finished in gray to match the exterior. It's equipped with an Eddy Motorsports black aluminum hood hinges and trunk hinges. The car is powered. Here we go. This is where it gets even more interesting. Does the car back up its great looks? Yes, it does. It has a Pro Charger D1X supercharged LQ9 V8 with over 700 horsepower. This thing moves. There's a couple videos also online laying a couple strips when the owner had it at the custom shop. This motor absolutely screams. It is an awesome setup. Uh, the engine was built by Kenny King Racing Engines. Google them. Uh, the engine was stroked and has comp cam, thumped their cam. Uh, it was dressed with a Sniper Dual uh, TB intake, Holly valve covers, Holly EFI. It's just an awesome engine. I think he did a great job tying this whole car together. Everything kind of goes together. If you start studying all the components, the colors and so forth, the engine breathes through head um, and headers and stainless dual exhaust system with pipe mufflers. Um, as I mentioned, the exhaust tips come out the rear quarters, which is awesome. Um, now, the engine is actually coupled to a Tremec TR660 six-speed manual transmission. It's equipped with a Hayes Dragon Claw dual clutch. It's got a great clutch and all the power is transplanted to the pavement through the fab nine inch posi rear end. Uh, obviously the undercarriage of this car is as reflective as the outside. This is a car that you absolutely would want to display at a car show with mirrors, with lights. You can jack it up off the ground. It is that spectacular. I am going to go uh, on record now and thank uh, Randy, um, who's one of our detailers, and also Ricky, who's one of our detailers. They spent a lot of time on the undercarriage of this car, polishing the exhaust, painting parts, painting part of the frame. They did an unbelievable job on the underneath. As we're on that subject, this Chevelle sits on a Roadster Shop chassis. Anybody who uh, knows anything about chassis, Roadster Shop is at the top of the spectrum as far as quality. It's a big expense. This car sits on that chassis, and that's one of the reasons why it handles so well. Um, that chassis was powder coated uh, in a kind of a powder blue candy is what they refer to it as. Same color as you would find on the intake. Again, everything flows together. Um, the car is equipped with rack and pinion steering. It's got uh, Alden coilovers with four links set up in the back. It's got Hydratech uh, power braking system with a Willwood master cylinder, and it has four wheel bear disc brakes. Again, bear is a great name in the business. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, we will be posting a service invoice on the car. So that kind of goes over the entire car. Uh, again, there's a lot of things I didn't touch base on. Uh, it would take me literally all the time uh, in the world to go over everything with this car, but it's something that we're super proud of. We've owned cars that were built by Ring Brothers. We've had uh, two or three of those cars over the years. We've had uh, even a car from Dave Kingig. We know quality here at MS Classic Cars. The custom shop did a really, really spectacular 
job on this car. So I want to tip my hat to them and everybody that was involved, including Dave, the gentleman that I bought the car from. So with that being said, um, if you have not signed up for our VIP email blast, please do. You can do that at msclassiccars.com. If you have not followed us on social media, please do that as well. It's the best way to kind of stay in touch with what we're doing here. As I've said in many videos in the past, MS Classic Cars is a small company, but we are doing big, big things. We appreciate you watching. I'm gonna go ahead and start this car. What I figured I would do is start the car cold. Normally we start the cars after we've warmed them up outside, we bring them back in the building. But I just thought I would highlight how well this car starts cold and, uh, and do a nice little demonstration here like we always do. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on this key. You'll notice immediately, I don't know if the camera's picking up on it, all the interior lights kind of flashed, everything lights up. You gotta see this in person to believe it. It's truly spectacular. I've got that custom gauge panel on right now. I'm getting really excited. Uh, turn this baby over and let you listen to it run. Fires right up. Sounds like a million bucks. We appreciate you watching. Thank you.